hi everyone today we'll continue with the website we created yesterday and today I'll be showing you how to add images to your website but before we do that before we do that it's important to know how to go about images one very important thing to do about to remember is that we have to optimize our images as you can see I've opened a new tab and here you have uh, web sites that help you to do image optimization so what is image optimization well image optimization is simply a way of uh, optimizing images so that uh, the, the website loads faster and your site also becomes much much lighter well, I will not go so much into detail, but I'll just show you some few examples of websites that can assist you to do that. As you can see, just go to Google and you Google for free online web image optimizers and you will get the websites. Here are just examples. They are free of charge and you can always go there and do your optimization. But for this particular tutorial, I'm not going to use those websites. Rather, I'm going to use some softwares that I have. Now with me, here I have Corel Photo Paint, Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, as some of the few softwares, image editing softwares that you can use. Well, you also need a browser for this particular tutorial, and I have three particular browsers here, Explorer, Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. These will help us render our pages and see how images uh, load now without much further ado let's start optimizing our images well here is my website as you can see it is a fashion website and it has some nice images now i want to add images of products so i come to my products page and here I have captions or other spaces and picture boxes where I should have my images. Now remember, we don't just add images for the sake of uh, adding images. Regardless of how good they look, we should be careful when adding images because uh, as I said earlier, they should load fast and normally visitors don't have time to wait for an image to load. So let us do this image optimization so very quickly i'll go to my images folder and i'll look at some of the images i have now for start i'm going to pick a very simple image yeah and as i mentioned earlier i'm using the corel photo paint 7. well the choice is yours and uh, the principle is more or less the same so here i pick my image and i simply drop it to my application and there you have it there is my first image so the first thing to do is to resize your image according to your website so going back to my website i'm going to place my image in this box over here and i know the dimensions of this box i know the size i know the length and the height that's the first thing we should do we should resize our image so we come to image and we just do we click on resample so my dimensions are pixels and my dimensions are 180 pixels i need to uncheck that by 165 180 by 165 pixels i click ok as you can see the images become much smaller fine you can always make it bigger by scrolling your mouse wheel upwards fine after that we come to the most important part of it which is image optimization for the web so you go to file go downwards and click on web export for the web and there you are so if I maximize that, as you can see with me, there are two images, the first one and the second one. 
the first one is the original and the second one is a PNG a PNG image PNG is simply a format meaning portable network graphic it's a good format for uh, images where you want to have a very small file size so for starters we are going to go to the format as I mentioned we have PNG if you wish you can always optimize it to another format like GIF graphic interface format or JPEG the choice is really yours but for now I want the PNG now please note there's a blue border around the image so this is what I'm editing this is what I'm optimizing okay and of course currently I'm using the pan tool now one other important thing that you note is the speed the speed normally refers to internet connectivity you guys you can remember we started with the early days of 56 kbps modem so what does that all mean it means that this page rather this image will take 9.2 seconds to load on a connection speed of 56 kilobytes per second right and the size of the image is 63 kilobytes well most web users will not wait for that long for the image to load so what do we do we are going to reduce the file size but at the same time we are going to watch out for the image quality so how do we do that well for png there's nothing there's no there's no much configuration that needs to be done but it's worth giving a try for the sake of learning now here i have png as you can see i have my different sizes right let's start with the first one the color mode here is rgb 24 bit what if i change that to black and white as you can see it changes the image into a very blurry black and white image but at the same time the file size goes down to 2.74 kilobytes which will load at an approximate time of 0.4 second well if that's what you want go ahead just come down and click save us right well second option is grayscale and there you have it so this is the original and this is what we are going to have for our website another option is palleted 8-bit here you have a choice of the color palette what do i mean as you can see it's very clear on the optimized option what if i change to image palette well it's quite noticeable you'll see some noise and uh, some green if you wish and that's not what we want fine let's look at adaptive that's another color palette uh, not very bad what about the file size 25 point 26.5 kilobytes loading at 3.9 seconds let's look at another option uh, system fine as you see a bit of noise not very clear but at the same time the file size changes so i'm doing this for the sake of demonstration it all depends on you and the kind of website or project that you are doing fine after that we'll move on to yet another option i'll go back to what yes before i go back to that let me go to another option and that is dithering well the first option the first option you've been given here is floyd steinberg right so what if we said none there you have it dithering go back to audit you can see the difference jarvis and so forth it's all up to you 
I will not go so much into detail for now, but I hope you guys get the idea. So for my color mode, I'll choose RGB. That is just green, green, and that means just red, green, and blue. 24 bit. It's good for the screen. Now, one last point before I save this image is that you can have a two up, right? You can have a comparison of the two images, the original and the PNG, or rather the, the choice that you've chosen. You can also align them horizontally, yeah, and do the comparison. Or you can have a four up comparison where you can choose between three options, right? The first one being PNG, here it is. The second one is also a PNG, but with different settings. And the third one is a JPEG. And the first one is always a, the original. So please make sure whenever you're saving, you choose the one that you wish to save. For example, how do I know that? Always look at the blue border. So if I choose that, that is what I'm going to have for my for my website or rather for my project. Uh, but, as, but, uh, but as it is, this image is still very, very big. 63 kilobytes. Uh, it's quite huge. Let's reduce that. And how do I do that? I can, instead of having RGB 24, I can go to palleted 8 bits. Okay. And I can choose optimized. Right. And then for the previous, previous setting, I had 24, 24-bit 24 RGB color. As you can see, the palleted 8-bit and a color palette optimized is 24.3 kilobytes, loading in 3.5 seconds. But for the RGB 24 PNG, it is 60.4 kilobytes, loading at 8.8 .8 seconds so i hope you guys can see the difference i hope you guys can see the difference so what you should always bear in mind is the quality and the file size so always endeavor to have the highest quality at the lowest file size possible this will enable your images to load fast and will also make your site much much lighter this will help you in SEO and also in achieving your goals for your website or your web application. And for that, well, I'm going to save that image. Save us. Here you've been given a resolution of 300. If you wish, you can reduce it. But as you can see, there's a lot of pixelation and we don't want that. You can increase it gradually. It's still pixelation on the edges, 150, not quite, maybe 200, uh, fine, I'll go with the default 300, but again, the choice is up to you. Here you can choose to maintain aspect ratio or not, I choose not to maintain aspect ratio, and finally, I'm done. So remember, I've chosen this particular image, and how do I know that? There's a blue thick border around it. And once I'm done, very simple. Just come here and click Save Us. And here I have my new product. I call it Product 1. Okay. And I click Save. Once that is done, I'll simply minimize my image editing software. And come back to my site. So here is my site. Okay. Now, what do I do with that image? I want that image in the products page. Products page. How do I get to the products page? Remember, come to your root folder, click on it, and of course, here it is. Products page. There it is. So I want to have it here. Well, please pay careful attention. So what we do, we come to the folder, 
our images folder and of course uh, we look for our image oops something went wrong there i don't know why let's try and save it again let's try and save it again consider save for web click on that and okay we call it p1 save okay. there you have it okay there's my product fine sorry for that so here i come and copy product one and i come to my images folder I open it very simply right click on that and paste after I paste that make sure it is there so once I paste it let me pull that one like that I come to my code remember it is a picture box number one this one here okay those of you who are using Visual Studio you know that you can have it you can have the code view and the design view but for now I'll just use the code view so it's in the images folder this line here you just highlight it like that so in the images folder and the name is prod product one click save once I save, I can run. Oops. Seems to be a problem. Okay. As you notice, uh, we don't get anything on our page. And it's very simple. You always have to remember to add the extension. So it's prod1.png click save refresh and there you have your image as you can see there is the image that we just optimized and for that I, I say thank you for watching and I hope uh, you'll be able to do your image optimization for your websites please remember to always have a small file size but maintain the highest quality of the image so thank you for watching once again subscribe to this channel and hope to see you next time bye bye